it has been such a long time since we've had a Purple Pants promotions, and I feel like there is no better time, no better person, and no mm. better artist. Uh, this is not... That was so sexy. Time. That okay, was sexy. right. <laughs> this is not his first time on the Purple Pants podcast. You may formally know him as Jacob Jones, but now the world knows him as Air. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bryce, first off, the introduction. Ah, ah, you made me feel so right. Oh. Um, and no, I'm excited to be here. When you texted me and said you was bumping to Da Vinci, which is one of my favorites. Um, I was like, ah, he gets it. He gets it. You get it. No. You get it. For sure. I, uh, I, you know, we're recording over the weekend and I had a little time with some of my friends uh, <laughs> last night and I was getting ready and I was like, you know what? I don't think I've actually gotten to Jacob Jones, the personally, uh, the formally person known as Jacob Jones, but air. I was like, I don't think I've gotten into your music like that. Like I've listened mm -hmm. to them when they came out. I mm -hmm. purchased them on mm -hmm. iTunes. Oh, okay. So Cause much. the girls <laughs> show up, but I was like, there's listening to music, Jacob, and mm -hmm. then there is like setting the space, mm -hmm. the time, and the tone to get into the music. And so I was getting ready. I'm sure you could agree with me. One of my favorite parts of there are two things that I love about going out, right? Mm -hmm. One is getting ready. Oh, of course. And two is returning home. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> oh my God, Bright, you just spoke to my heart. I completely agree. Cause listen, it don't listen. I could be at an event for two <laughs> minutes and my spirits say it's time to go. I will Irish goodbye like nobody's business. But no, like as I was getting ready to go out with some of my friends, I wanted to be intentional. I was like, let me make sure I like, like clearly I've supported you monetarily, yeah, yeah. but like, let me actually like support you with my spirit. <laughs> and yeah. when I tell you the way Da Vinci was, <laughs> let me spark you up to the moon like it really just kind of did something ah. to my soul and i'll be honest like i what genre would you consider this music i would consider it this is this is such a hard because when i first got into music i really i wrote songs specifically for disco 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 because donna summers was like my mother okay. and it, it it kind of just evolved as you know i just started listening to different things so i would consider it under the broad umbrella of house because okay. house un encompasses a lot of things but uh like dance like r&b enthused in it too pop enthused in it and so it's like a hybrid of a lot of shit but i think it's under the umbrella of house so and i'll be honest i don't personally jam to house like that yeah, yeah, in yeah. my house okay <laughs> in my house uh come on beyonce however on. you know me getting into i mean like i literally just felt myself <laughs> dancing making a drink putting my <laughs> shoes on it it like was and again when you say you figure it falls under house but it mm -hmm. encompass so much other things yeah. right because me personally just speaking to your second single da vinci mm -hmm. um I get R and B. Mm -hmm. I get blues. Mm -hmm. I get classical. Mm -hmm. I get pop. I get mm -hmm. a little rock in some of mm -hmm. your ad libs mm -hmm. and runs. Like you know, I oh. I'm really a a, a musicy right. Like I love music. I, love I think that. that it is just so amazing. So one, I just want to say I'm so proud of you. Uh, thank you, and thank you so much for coming on the podcast to like really talk about this. But like, let's really kind of discover more about air. Let's Who is Air? How do we how did you come up with this name? Air is a how, can I I can will you bleep it out if I cuss and like I can cuss? Bish, you could cuss. Okay. Boy. Air is a nasty little bitch that is so breathy, so nasty, so like like oozy. Air is that person on the dance floor that, like everyone else is watching around him and he's just like spinning, grabbing the mic, dipping, has flare pants on, flowy clothes on. Like no one can really touch air, but air is there. Air is an elevated Jacob. Air is Jacob. Air is air is I have I have this on my tattoo. I've had this tattoo since 2020. It says air. I love it. 2020, because I just always love the word air. First off, it means like air in religious terms. It means like you're the next to. 
Um, you're like the, this is like everything that it's my inheritance. I'm getting my inheritance. I'm an heir to the throne. I'm an oh. heir to this royalty. I'm an heir to, I'm an, I'm an heir. I'm an heir in this inheritance X, Y, and Z. Now I always love that because um, I always, I know, you know, I, I love power and I love how that is like, I'm getting what I'm owed in mm. a sense. And claiming and, it and and, walk- claim, and claiming mm. it and walking it and being confident in like, this is mine. This is like what this is, this is mine. Um, and I always, when I have a son, if I have a son, I, I want, I know when I have a son, I want his name to be Air Jones. I've always mm-hmm. was like, ever since I like had Air, I was like, Air Jones is a sick name. Um, and then when I started doing music, which hit me out of nowhere, I was like, when I sing in the studio, when I write the songs, I feel this like, this like rock, this sway, this body high. I feel this like, this, this like days. I feel this air. I feel air. Like the word air is so breathy. The word air is so fluid. It's like air. And I just think air is like a perfect of the music, of the brand, of the pictures, of the aura. I think it's air. I love it. I think um, listening to you describe it, it's kind of sort of. So here's the two fart. Twofold <laughs> part, right? <clears throat> Jacob Jones, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I love me some Jacob Jones. But honestly, <laughs> when I first met or when I first heard of Jacob Jones, I'm be honest, the Purple Pants <laughs> podcast, I didn't like you. Not that I didn't like you, but let me just be yeah. honest. Like, I didn't know much about you. And yeah, yeah, from your like photos and stuff, I was like, oh, I ain't going to wake up. <laughs> but shout out to my good, good. And I, when I say good, good, my good, 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 good good girl Allie Lasher oh. right and when I saw you to your connection with Allie like I was like and again this is just me everyone <laughs> does it so whether you want to admit it or not sometimes you see photos you see like I just knew you no were, you do you do I I figure you would be something that you were not that you mm-hmm. are absolutely not <laughs> and so like I was just like oh, okay here goes okay and then when I like started listening to you and Allie and then you know Allie is the godmother of my turtle Kimmy and so uh, when I started just hearing all of the stories that Allie had of you I was like I oh my god that. I have to meet Jacob and it's very true in my life that. I always misjudge people like my best friend of over 30 years. Uh, when we, we first met in school, I was like, oh, it was that I ain't going to like her. Bye. Bye. Like, you know, and here we are. And so, yeah. Uh, so that's my one take of Jacob Jones. But I love the fact that through our friendship. And again, I feel like you can't be a good friend with me without us getting into some type of argument, yeah we, uh, right? we have to have a and little bam 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 you know what I mean? we had a little bam 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 during covid you know we, all we had to i think i think that was like we we didn't like we didn't really know we had to understand each other you know what i mean and like i feel like that like yeah like you we had to just i think that was like a we see like not as we see like okay th- different things by not knowing the person can be misinterpreted as certain right. things you know what i mean and so i think as you have gotten to know me more and as I have gotten to know you more, if if that was before that situation, it wouldn't have been a situation. Absolutely. But it was yeah. funny in retrospect. Yeah. It's, it's that funny. I was cussing Jacob Jones. Ow. <laughs> uh, and- Bryce was get laying into my ass. Let me tell you. Let okay. me tell you. <laughs> and so, but again, it was really just a misunderstanding of my feelings yeah. were hurt. And so I, sometimes I think that people, again, like how I misjudged you before I really mm-hmm. knew you, I think sometimes people perceive me as this like bubbly, oh, energetic, and really, yeah. and I am all of those things, but. I'm sensitive. I mm-hmm. am like, I'm very, like, I care about people. Um, but again, back to what you were saying, describing air. For me, like, as you were describing it, I'm like, I've met air. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but anyone that is listening or watching, if Wait, you I love know Jacob Bryce. Jones and you've seen Jacob Jones at a Bryce and Wynn <laughs> at an RHAP event, like, you know that there's a Jacob Jones. And then, you know, <laughs> after a certain hour, and a certain number of cocktails, this other being comes out. And some like when I, but that being that comes out and listening to you describe what air is, is yeah. true. Like that truly is air. Like you are, you fun already. But Come on. when you let go, yeah. you like really let go. Like mm-hmm. you own the room, you command yeah. the room. Like you're like, I'm living uh- in my truth, my light, yeah. this is me. And so like, I just love the fact that 
I can say that I have met Air. Yeah, you've met Air. You Air and you know each other. Yeah, Air and you see each other. We, we see, see we each see other. each other. We good. Um, no, Air is. I I honestly feel like our Air is not like an alter ego. I would say, even though someone did text me text me that today, but. It's a part of you. It's yeah, like it's a, for it's me, a, it's, it's like my Bryce Isaiah, right? Like mm. I'm Bryce and I'm Bryce Isaiah, but I am the same person. But yeah. like the Bryce Isaiah is an elevated. Mm. Like I feel what you're saying. Yeah, it's it, it, it. To be honest, it happened. The shift. I don't know. I feel like I went through a shift in like I don't know the last probably longer, but like probably in the last like eight nine months or so. Ever since last year, last year 2023 had to be. And I feel so blessed, but the best year of my life so far, it was, and I knew it was, I knew it was, I knew it was, I knew I was going to find a lot of things, get a lot of answers, find a lot of like just myself and, and just figure out life in a, in a weird way. And it happened to me and air was in the development stages of figuring that out and also a little bit of greenery was also in oh, this thing um and so listen. it like i i think greenery is one of the fifth wonders of the world and truly truly it will get you right it will it it centers you, you it centers me it centers me uh now this I told Jacob this gonna be a five minute conversation, and this is just how when Jacob and I get on the phone, we will start talking about something and get somewhere else. It'll and just flow. but I'm with you, right? Mm -hmm. Um, because I feel like for the longest time, I felt like greenery didn't agree with my body mm. in the sense of grow. I'm from the inner city of Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and so when greenery, when people will partake of the greenery, you don't know what the hell you get in, yeah, right? See, like, you know, you, like, you. it's just <laughs> like, and then I'm like, why do I feel so crazy? Yeah. And mm -hmm. I, I never enjoyed it, right? Because I always felt like it made me anxious. It made me, mm. and then, you know, yeah, shout out to the legalization, you Come know, uh, shout out to different strands, shout Come out on. to understanding what it is, Sativa, uh, and different things. And Sativa actually, is my girl. And so when you go to a dispensary and you actually talk what you are actually looking for, and then they mm. suggest different things, it's, it's life changing. <laughs> Bryce, I do not, I have not found yet a better feeling because I'd say greenery in my evolution of life kind of is air. Air is greenery. Put, put it in the air. But no, Da Vinci was wrote on my couch, greenery out the kazoo. And so air is the creative side of me. Air is a, and the music is air. And and air is the mm. music. Jacob Jones may write sometimes, and, and it has a little buy-in sometimes. And, and make my emotional. body feel so goddamn right. Okay. Make my goddamn body feel so right tonight. tonight. Ah! Like it's so sexy. It's like it really a, is, and it really is you though, right? Like yeah. you. You are a sexy again. You my friend. You my sis, Jacob. You're an attractive <laughs> being. You know, you. like you know, it it fits you. Yeah, you no, know, it, like you know, like I get it. No, it's, well, it's not, let me like, actually. You know what? Let me let me choose my words correctly. Choose them. It fits air. It fits air. It fits air. Because Jacob Jones is attractive, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get it to we'll get we'll save another podcast for Jacob Jones because Jacob he, Jones be on some stuff. Okay, he do. Come on now. Um, but yeah, air 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 is cute and air allow me to do all of these things. And so and, you know. when did you actually discover that you had a, a voice? See, I think I think everyone literally probably has a voice, but I think um, I think that, uh, <laughs> I, I, I think that I, I always sung around the house. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, I, in the shower, I would sing, you know, just like doing it. And I always thought I could sing. Um, but it's never music singing. I, I'm still, I don't consider myself a singer. 
uh, I think I sing good, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a, da, 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 da. Many, I'm an artist. Yes. Many people can sing me under the bridge, out of the house, but many people's minds can't think like mine can. Mm. Many people's dreams can't dream like mine can. And many people's pens can't write like mine can. So, but so I would sing around the house and just like, you know, do it as anyone would. And I went to, this is when everything shifted, clicked bottle boom pop bottle to to top i went to paris for my friend's 30th birthday and on the plane flight there i was watching donna summer's documentary on mm. HBO max at the time it was called hbo max not max so good if you have not watched it please watch it it just invigorated me like literally i did not think about music or anything like that but it's kind of weird because i was on a week i was on the weekend i was on his ass like during that time as well. And I saw and I saw his um live SoFi concert tour too. So I saw all that. Then I think like the next week or the next day, I hopped on the plane, went there for my friend's 30th birthday, and I watched Donna Summers. I always loved Donna Summers, known Donna Summers. Donna Summers is that girl that gives she is. Oo oozes and ahs, you know what I mean? Of femininity, of power, of and it's drunk so and sex so crazy how you speak about air and speak about Donna Summers. It's like when people think of Donna Summers, she's not like the powerhouse mm -hmm. of her time, mm -hmm. but she's a vibe. Mm. Right. You know, like she's I always think of like Kelly Rowland, Donna yeah. Summers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a vibe. So I love the fact that you know, Just what you're saying makes sense to my musical soul. Today, I was looking at her on YouTube today i and i recorded on my like i love her i i really love donna summers and i i i, I love her I, and i i love the the era of disco when she was in it now disco is looks definitely different because of disco demolition the, the down with the disco movement and then that's when house popped up and so everything then we have the new disco then we have house and we have and all of those sort of let's things. even speak about it it's black history month uh jacob oh let's house talk about music it. was founded uh with People of color. People in, of color in Detroit, people of color in Chicago, people of color in Philly. This that's where was founded with people of color. But it's it interesting because when I think of house and I think of disco, I don't necessarily sometimes I don't think of people of color, which is why mm -hmm. I don't normally like gravitate to it. Uh, but I oh, also yeah. love again, like what you saying is factual and it makes sense and which again air is yeah you know, it's all tied in. right like okay th this how it's really all tying in and so like i i just love and i say that era when she was in because that era of of disco of music of sex of moaning and groaning on a mm. record and the reason i like disco is because are you a moaner and groaner i definitely uh it depends or i'm more of like a <clears throat> You know what I mean? Oh, okay. But um, but disco, they disco music, house music, artists like Donna Summers, artists like the BGs, artists even like James Brown, like it, it it goes into a big genre. They trusted a beat when making music, which I think is a lost art nowadays, and allowing a beat, like you picked this beat, you worked with the producer to make this beat, or you made this beat yourself, or you bought this beat, or however you found the beat. Trust the beat to like ride on its own for a couple mm -hmm. of seconds. And like for me, when I write, it's like I write and then I add the color as a blah, blah, blah. But I come up with the melody, take it to my producer. We work on the beat together. But if I worked on this beat, I'm going to let it breathe because I think this beat is kicking, banging, snapping, papping. And I like things that you can like, you can pick up a little one, two real quick and just move. Um, and so... All that, I watched that documentary. I asked my friend who is in her mid-30s, and I asked her, um, if you could tell yourself anything in your 20s, what would you tell yourself? And she said, she's a photographer. She does photography like on the side as a hobby more so, um, but works in tech. And she said, if I would have just went for it in my 20s, mm -hmm. I bet I can be in museums at this point. And I was like, damn. And it was literally at that exact, because I never really thought of music, but I was like, I feel so, when I watched the Donna Summers thing, I hopped off the plane and I said, told my friend, I think I want to do music. Kiki, a bitch hopped off a plane saying they want to do music. Bitch, what were you smoking back there? That's what I'm wondering. Like that's in a, and like I, and that's what I did. Um, and I, she told me that we were being funny with music while I was down there. I came back, started working with the songwriter because I didn't know how to write a song. I didn't, I barely read. I, I don't know how to do this shit. 
Um, we made a phone call where the freaks go. Horrible. I hate it now. It is. Yeah. Um, and then I threw away what I like, what he kind of we worked on. And then I started writing more. And then I started writing and then started writing and then started writing and then started. And then, started, and then I just, it flow. I, it, it's insane. I like and it. it started in Ju July, last year in July. That was the original question. But last year in July, it started. And so we see that you have released your debut uh, single called Caught Up In You and your follow-up mm -hmm. single, which is Da Vinci. And for me as a music lover, <clears throat> I I miss the days that, <laughs> you know, I am maybe like a year or two older than you. <laughs> uh, but I miss the days of like when albums used to have an intro. Mm. They would have like skits in them. Yeah, like, you yes. know, they told a story. The interlude, something. An interlude, interlude, a little voicemail, like, yo, mm -hmm. what's up? It's air. I'm not at the tone <laughs> right now, but leave me a message. Beat, like, you know, I miss all of those fun things about music, but I love when music and singles tell a story. I feel like a lot of mm -hmm. artists today, mm -hmm. um, just re they're single artists. They just release Both. singles and they're not even connected. But the thing, again, which I found the most the thing that drawn me even more to your music was when you released Caught Up. You mm -hmm. know, <laughs> I feel like Caught Up and Da Vinci, they're connected because- Oh, definitely. And, and Caught Up, you're talking, someone doesn't see you or they haven't mm -hmm. yeah. seen you the way that you want them to see you, but mm -hmm. you're caught up in them. And it's like, do you let your vulnerability, do you let your, you know, do you show up? But in the song Da Vinci, it's like, we here right now. We yeah, we're here. Like we, this is the moment. Like, yeah. let me spark you up to the moon. Let me sh like. So I like. Ugh. So just in those two singles, like I love the fact that there is relatability. They connect. Um. Mm. So I love that. I also feel like me being a a gay black man, right? right? I um. Your music connects to me again. It's very sensual. It's very love focused. Um. How important was it for you to allow your sexuality to to breed through your music? Uh, uh, it's like, I mean, house music, disco music was breed, yes, from people of color, but also the gay scene, queer scene, LGBTQ scene was heavy on that and still is heavy on that. It we is. just saw the we don't queen, get the Beyonce dancing in that. And that's who I am as well. You know what I mean? And so that being interwoven into my music, it had to be. It's not a, it's because it, that's what I vibe to. That's what I sway my body to when I'm in the club. That's what makes me feel my fantasies. And so when I go to clubs, when I go out, I love, I love a good house set. I love a good, you know, disco, disco set, lights in the air, disco balls in the air, bodies moving, touching, grooving. I love it all. You know what I mean? And so if I could have interjected like a little bit in both of those songs and caught up in you, it's like a, it's like a fantasy kind of, cause it starts off with, I can feel your wish and all these, you know, I can, and I came up with that. Like the day I went to the studio, I had time to go to the studio and in the morning before the day before I came with that melody and I was just walking around my hotel room. Just like, I can be your wish and all these, I can be your wish and all these. You're wishing all these. And I just kept singing. And I was like, yeah, I need this somewhere in that song. Um, caught up in you is definitely like caught up in caught up in someone and they don't see you. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yo, I'm here. And it's kind of a thing where like you're also rising and you don't see them, but then they come back and then it's like, uh, like it's just it's just a a, a push and pull in both ways. And it's it was originally, I had two separate songs written, both love songs, both like um, part of Da Vinci is like, um, let's load up. No, that's that's Da Vinci. What, uh, caught up in you? Because I'm caught up in you, baby, you want you see? Uh, baby, you want you see? That was like one song. And then an another bit of it, I forgot which part was another song. And actually, something super funny. Yeah. I have this thing, and it's, um, I say it is my, like, if I, you know, whatever happens to me, um, this has all of, like, my fully written songs. And so oh. I, I record them, like, finally, like, when I have the melody or something. Like, oh. here. And all of, like, the final copies get 
um, uh, written on, like not it's notebook given paper. it's given two thousands how to copyright something without copyright <laughs> something and you mail it to yourself. Say, okay. say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Okay. Um, but Da Vinci. So I have Da Vinci right here. Yeah, this is this was the beginning of Da Vinci. Make me high. But Da Vinci, it started off kind of Caribbean a little bit. Okay. And it, it, it was like, make me high like I want to. Roll me tight like you're supposed to. Hey. Bring me in like you know to. Gee. Roll me out like it. But, you know, it transformed. Okay. That was like the first version of it. Um, but Caught Up For You is two versions of two different songs, both love-centered. And it's kind of a fantasy. I was caught up in this guy. And... It just wasn't, you know what I mean? It just wasn't it. And Cut Up and You was the last one I have recorded, actually. And I was like, I kind of fell in love with it. We worked on it for like two sessions, banged it out. And I was like, oh, this has to be the first one because I just, it just did something to me. Um, and Da Vinci is such like a, I just, My damn. I just, it's like, it's like a hot box sex. It's like, yo, it's like, let me blow this smoke in your face and have mm. you uh Shotgun. you know what i mean like come on and like the beginning lyrics of da vinci go and I, this is what i wrote right here because i was smoking and i was watching the smoke float up to my light bulbs you know the greenery hit my head already and i was like wow the smoke really just floats up into my lights like the lights up here and so i i was like Let's float up where the light goes tonight. My body's floating up there. And I just had that. And that's where that came from. And then make me ah. Uh, it's a star, it's a song yeah. about greenery, but it's also it's really a song. In. To, no, literally and bring me, me out. in and blow me. That lyric was actually about to be way nastier. I was gonna say there's, and I, there's Jacob Jones. No, this is Jacob Jones. I was like in between. I was like, breathe me in. And I was like, I had push me out first. I was like, that's what in the snowball? No. <laughs> but no, right? Like, but I love that. But again, I love that like sensualness, right? Yeah. In the song. Yeah. Like, put it in there. Like, come on. And we had, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, though. But no, like, I feel like, again, I listen to music to a part of some, like, one of my neck, one of my toxic <laughs> traits is that like I love music that makes me feel something, right? Uh, and yeah. so oftentimes, uh, sad music is what gets me the most, right? Mm, There's like a knee jerk reaction. So I just love sad music. Some people yeah. like people are like, why are you listening to sad music? I'm like, I don't know. But you feel again, it. it hits you. It hits, it hits you. me. Yeah. And I have to say, Da Vinci hits me. And and again, I'm not just blowing smoke to you, Jacob, because first of all, it would give me nothing but pleasure to text you and be like, your voice sounds great, but them songs ain't it, right? Like, you know, like when I text you the other day, I was in the spirit. Like, I was like, uh, like yeah. I can't believe I know him, right? Like, ah, this is Bryce! Like, but it, again, that's how I felt, which is why, like, wow. I wanted to text you and just tell you that, like, da, again, I love both of your singles, but yeah. I have to be honest, Da Vinci, it emotionally Bryce, does something to me. Um, and I love it as a second single. I feel like, again, what artists don't do anymore is rollouts, right? Mm. Like, so I, I even love the rollout of your first <laughs> single to this single. What I do want to know is, is there a project coming? Is there an EP? Is yes. there an album? So there's an EP coming, but I have right now, I have this three foundational songs that I want to place just as a, these are the three foundations are, this, of this air. Is air. I want, this right. is air. This is air. This is air. And we are just, we've been doing work on visuals and stuff like that. So actually just got a deck for the visual. So hopefully I think that will go, ah, oh, this, 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 I love this photo. And Marlon who helped me work on this, or who worked on this for me. It, like even the logo air right there, it gives me vintage. It gives me Odin, caught up in you. We took this film, we took this photo on film actually. Um, and I just love the breathy, the breathy concepts. Um, ah, I love this photo. I love this. Yeah, I love uh, Da Vinci. You feel it. You mm -hmm. feel it. You feel it's like it's move. Like even in the the cover, it's moving. It's not it's, like it's it's something that's not tangible. You have to feel it. I uh, 
I love it. But again, so you are working. Yeah, so on we got to get these first three songs done, and I'm probably gonna push back the. It's, it's the third song coming in March. Uh, my birthday's March 14th, and so I wanted to drop March 15th. And it's called. It's called. Um, oh, AFR. is this is is this oh, a yeah. Purple Pants podcast exclusive? I, it's well, the date may change now. The date may okay, change. Okay, but the name, the name. <laughs> yes. What, what oh yeah, is, it's called Air. Name? Yeah, it's called Air. A I R. A I R. So it's pronunciate the same, but I was like, I can't have a song. My third song out. You know what I mean? I can't have a Beyonce. Didn't have a song called Beyonce. Still doesn't have a song called Beyonce. Well, she I has an album. So she I does have like an it, album. It puts a little pressure on you because it's almost like your self entitled album. Almost yeah. is like the album that defines you. So this this song is kind of like a and the the visual concept that we have right now is quite sickening. Okay. I would say this one leans heavier on the um, old style of disco, like when um, Donald Summer, like the Bee Gees were doing it. Uh, and it leans more heavy towards that because Air was, um, Air was, I told someone na the name that I wanted to go off, um, go as, and it was Air. And it was like, wait, you should write a song about it. It's so like moving and powerful. And I was like, hmm, okay, let me write a song like about Air. And so, and I was trying to figure out a name. I was like, uh, or I, I have it's probably it's gonna be called air, but uh, it goes like now the name in question. But no, ahead. I'm like because I had an I had I was thinking of um home, the name in it home name because I learned in like Caribbean culture or it's what I forget which culture it is, but I'm thinking it's Caribbean culture. People have different names, so like when they're home, they go by a different name than like anywhere else. Kind of like a nickname, but it's more severe than a nickname. It's kind of like a whole like who is Gerald? You right. know what I mean? It's like another normal name, but um. Air is the first part of air is like, I'm not like the air you breathe. Come closer to me. I'm going to rock your body. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, I'm going to wow. move your body. Doom, doom, doom. Hey. I'm not like the gas you breathe, but I'm rising in the streets. You're going to hear about me. So it's like, I'm cutting in. And then I say, I'm getting what is old to me. Just you wait and count to three. What am I supposed to be? I like guess it's, it's like I'm getting it's air. I'm getting what I'm supposed to get. Like, give it to me. Give me that bitch for I'll rip it out of your dirty little crummy hands because I'm taking it. Because I'll be damned if another little pip nose, pip squeak See, okay, get to it before now, I do. Now, that's Jacob Jones. Okay. That's so okay. That's, yeah. When I was receiving, it's like the air in which you need, right? So Come you on. To, you got to breathe it in. But I say, I'm not, I say, I'm not like, oh my, there you go, even. That, it's air. It's air. I'm not like the air you breathe. Come closer to me. I'm going to rock your body. Gonna, and so uh, I even, because like, you know, I'm a songwriter, you know, like, and even for something like Bryce, that. Bryce, wait, wait, no, 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 no. I didn't know you were a songwriter. Oh, I, yeah, you know, all of that. Matt guy, I talked to him. He said, I was like, wait, Bryce is working. Like what? Bryce is working on music? I've got music. I've charted before. Uh, right, so Bryce, I need to e be put on. Even listening to some of those lyrics, right? Like, I also feel like it's like, Air, you need it to breathe, but you, you also could, you could suffocate. You could hold your breath and miss and we, the moment. Like, you know what I mean? Love, like, there's- You love suffocation. I mean, it's the reset button. <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> A little cough, cough, ain't gonna do nothing. You heard them coughs in Da Vinci? <laughs> At the end, cause I was like, now what is he doing? Now the fact that you, oh God, you know what, Jacob? See, all right, we gotta wrap this up because I didn't hear it when I was getting ready. But yeah. at 3 30, when I was making my way home, two of my friends was like, Is homeboy coughing? <laughs> I was like, but listen, if anybody could cough sexy, if anybody could make a cough sound, uh, it's Jacob Jones. Did you hear um, the other ones too? Did you hear the other things? Oh, too? I heard I I've been listening throughout the whole day because I knew that we were going to talk and I just really mm -hmm. wanted uh, Da Vinci in my spirit. So, no, I, I, I hear the calls. No, I think that they are, they add to the song. And again, I just can't say how proud I am of you, Jacob. Oh, thank you. Uh, because... And I don't want to get too personal, but um, I remember when we first started becoming friends, I think one of mm -hmm. the things that we talked about, uh, and please stop me if I'm sharing too much information, yeah. but I just want to be authentic, was like, I remember it was like about sexuality and about yeah, like yeah. how you were perceived and where you were at in that, yeah. like, that time. And I don't even want to get emotional because I could cry at a drop of a dime, but... <laughs> 
if I think about that conversation that we had maybe four and a half years ago, and I, it it was really that long ago, right? And I think about just that vulnerability that like literally, like how this podcast is going, if you guys are listening, that's how the conversation was going. Like me and Jacob were just all over the place. And it was like, I almost, I fell in love with you in that conversation (laughs) because I was like, oh my God, it's someone that speaks my language, right? And I remember in that conversation feeling so uh, like I've been where you have been before, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and just, you know, where you were at that time in your life. Yeah. And so it does almost make me cr- like want to cry <laughs> listening to Da Vinci, right? And yeah. thinking about that conversation that we had uh, four and a half years ago, like I feel like that wow. person would have mm. never been able to produce Da Vinci. And so I just feel like it is divine timing. It is you walking <laughs> into your purpose. And it's oh like gosh, I love it. you, Jacob mm. Jones and Air are the perfect like combination <laughs> because like Jacob Jones is a bad. He's a cocky MF. Like he Come is on. like, Come on. you know, he's, he's that girl. Right, like, and I love that about Jacob, and so I also love air because I also feel like air is like a brush, breath of fresh air, mm-hmm. and yeah. I also feel like this world you are the air to mm. be grown, mm. and I give just, it to me. I love it all, um, and so I am so proud of you, and I just really hope that the Purple Pants Posse gets behind you and supports all that you are doing because I think that it's amazing just to see your growth and elevation. I do have a final question for you. Um, I love the fact that you are getting into music and I know that you have this EP or project coming mm-hmm. on, but I would like to ask you live on the air. Uh, what's up with a, a Bryce Isaiah <laughs> feature? Bryce, I'm down. Like, I, I mean, I'm just saying. Bryce, no, I'm like, I'm like, I, I write, I can send you some stuff. I'm going to the studio and I'm going to work with my producer that I work with in California next week. Um, uh, like let me know. Had, I'm, I'm I'm great with melodies. You want me oh, on an eight? You want me on a sixteen? You want me on a hook? You just want wait. Me on I would love. Are you serious? I'm very serious. You can okay. send me the track. I will go to the studio, and you'll have it back in twenty four hours. Oh, we'll work in the studio together. But no, I'm so serious, Jacob. Like that I would. That. I would love that. But yeah, I yeah, understand yeah. how projects work. And so, like, if it doesn't happen, I get yeah, it. Yeah. But if in the future, the near future, but hopefully this project, I would love to collaborate no, with you. Right. I it would it would be a I I, I want to see what you can do. You know what I mean? I haven't I haven't heard anything, but when I see what you can do, I would love, I would love you on one of my tracks. I would love or, so or any like, collaboration in, 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 in spirit, but no, I would love it. I would love it to, I would love it. So, you know, I do have a catalog. You can, you know, Apple Music. But I do I'm think a- specifically, it's not one of my favorite songs that I've ever recorded. Mm-hmm. But I think it's one of, like, my very personal songs. I want you to, after this recording, before you go out, and I want you to text me back after. I want you to listen to Bryce Isaiah, You A Lie. Um, you- and... I'll send it to you. Uh, I was already starting to type. Oh, okay. Listen, okay. Come on, because it's the air. Okay, you better roll me up tight. What? 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 I can't. I can't. Um, Well, you a liar? Is that what you said? It's called you a lie. You a liar. So again, it's not one of my like most musically tracks, but I feel like it is one of my more very personal ones. And so, uh, but you can, you know, when you discover that one, let me get to know it. Discover the catalog, you know, the girls have charted on iTunes. Come on. Oh yeah, no, listen, but honestly though, Jacob, I am so, so proud of you. Uh, Before we go, let the Purple Pants Posse know what songs are available, where they can follow, where they can get you at, what to expect because we love and we support you. Ah, uh, Purple Pants Posse, I appreciate it so, 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 so much. Hopefully you enjoyed our chat. And you can find Caught Up In You, with the U being the letter U, and also Da Vinci on all streaming services. is anywhere you get music. And, yeah, and on Instagram, it's at air, H-E-I-R underscore sounds. And then on Twitter, it's Jacob J underscore Jones. And um, more music to come. 
Yeah. More songs in March, visuals coming in April for all three tracks. It's kind of, we kind of formed like a little lemonade-esque storytelling aspect with it, which I'm super excited for. And I think the last song of the three with the video that we have in mind is going to knock the bitches. Yes. And again, Hairs another thing, what I love about you is that like, again, I call you an artist because if anyone, if you're listening to this, you should watch it on YouTube. But like, Jacob is a model. Like, he is, <laughs> like and again, but see, this is why I don't be loving to give Jacob his love because he just eats it up so much. But no, it like, is. He well, no, I know he does, but like Jacob is a tr like see him in person, like he gives the looks, and so I just love the fact that you give the look in the covers and the come singles. on, like you know, you see his little Instagram reel of Da Vinci, and I'm like, uh, that's Jacob five drinks in at the club, like you know, that is like truly you. But again, I cannot say congratulations enough. I'm so proud of you. I love you, friends. And make sure that we go out and support Air Da Vinci and caught up at you. This has been your Purple Pants promotions. Ooh, it's the Purple Pants Podcast. You better listen in public, might make your stomach hurt. Ooh, it's the Purple Pants Podcast. You're trying to unwind, you better get that box wine. It's the Purple Pants Podcast. You're trying to get your snack, you better hurry right back though. Mm -hmm. It's the Purple Pants. Yeah, yeah. It's the Purple Pants.